CTN. I'm your host, Robert Van Slitten. Let's get started. Project products, in other words, aka the project bundle, can be built either for release or debug. By default, they're built for debug. When they're distributed, through the store they're built for release. Now the difference comes into play with options that are given the build process, particularly the compiler. In a debug build, there's additional symbol information to support debugging. And code optimization is turned off. Code optimization does some restructuring of control flow based on knowledge of the pipelining structure of the processor. It also eliminates some dead code, code that never executes. And we'll have an example of a difference in code between um, release and debug later in this episode. The key is that once you've done your major debugging, you should do intensive testing built for release because it is slightly different and you could potentially find problems. A release build will run faster and it'll also be somewhat smaller. Now the basic question is, how do you change that? How do you go from release and debug? Before I tell you that, I want to back up a little bit and reference you back to a previous episode that you may consider reviewing, but I am going to recap. Take a look at this. And this is maybe a little bit of a plug for the website. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, very simply, the build process starts with a selection of a scheme, which in turn defines tar the target or targets, which are compiled to form the product which is the bundle. Now, you would think that if you go to the menu item up here, which simply says, set the active scheme, you think you're choosing different schemes. You actually aren't. You're really just picking a particular version of the simulator or iOS device. By default, there's actually only one scheme. And the scheme is where the selection is made as to whether you're building for debug or release. Now, if you go to the product menu, and if you go down to scheme, you'll see there's one checked off. This is a simple single window, single view application that I just created, no modifications, called test. And the scheme is called test. And you'll notice select next or select previous scheme are grayed out. There are no other schemes defined. You can say edit scheme. If you have info selected for run test.app debug or debug you'll notice over in the build configuration drop down there's a selection between release and debug so i can change debug to release and if i build this it will build differently Let's go to the next slide, and we'll actually use NSAssert, 
which is not included in code for release, but is included in code for debug. I've switched the scheme back to debug. I'm in the appdelegate.m file, and I've added a line of code. NSAssert no comma some output string. NSAssert is not a function, it is actually a preprocessor macro. Asserts are useful because they enable you to test a condition. Now in this case the condition is simply no, so this fails, so the assert will fire. In other words, you're asking, is this thing true? If it isn't, there's a string. That will be output to the console, actually standard error, and the application will be terminated. An uncaught exception will be thrown. You'll get a stack backtrace. This macro is not compiled into a release build. The reason this is useful is that you can test during development for significant failure conditions or let's say you had another developer and you want to verify what is passed to you in your code or you want to make sure certain states are true during execution and you want to stop if they aren't and you want detailed information you want to stack backtrace you can leave these statements in the code and then when the release build is built they are factored out now there are several macros if you go and look at the documentation there's NS assert 1 two, three, and what, since the preprocessor macros don't support multiple arguments, it just simply supplies additional arguments to the string, which can be a formatted string. I'm in debug, as I mentioned earlier. Let's go ahead and actually run this. There we go. We fired. Let's go over to the top. What do we got? Assertion failure in tells me where it is. Blah, blah, blah. Reason CTN test assert. And a whole bunch of information underneath that. Now, let's go and clear this out. Stop the simulator. I'm going to go to Scheme, Edit Scheme. I'm going to go from Debug to Release. And I'm going to build and run. no assertion. That's it. Check out the website, cocotouchnetcast.com, and have a great day. A little bit of kayaking in a cave. As a note in real time, for those of you that are actually watching these in real time, right now it's mid March. 2014. Uh, 7.1 was just released recently and uh, Xcode 5.1 was just released recently. If you want to run your apps on devices running 7.1 you're going to have to upgrade Xcode to 5.1. Thanks for watching.